How goes it everybody? My name is Howitzer and welcome back to SnowRunner. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff for me. And today I got another mod to show you. So let's just get to it. The Navistar 5000 Kronos. Mr. Buses brings us this one. And that guy has just been fucking killing it. I know he doesn't do a lot of custom mods, but he makes the in-game trucks so much more better. It's awesome. And I, I, I've never actually used the Navistar, to be honest. But I guess I'm going to find out what the upgraded version is like. Let's see what we can do to this thing. All right, for engines, we have the A16V2000, the Westline 2300, Westline 2450, and the Westline 2680. Yep, let's go with that one. All right, for gearbox, we have special off-road, special and advanced special. Uh, we'll do special off-road, I guess, for now. No highway, huh? All right, for suspension, we have raised, tuned custom, and then stock. I think we'll go with the tune custom because I think it gets it up off the ground just a little more. Tires, looks like we're gonna go with these 52 inch BMG Super Trencher MTs. Hell yeah, let's try these out. Winch, we got the autonomous winch HD, the stock heavy, extended heavy, advanced heavy, and the twin motor. Definitely do autonomous. Cause you never know when you're gonna put the bitch on its side. <laughs> Spare wheel, I'll, I'll leave that alone. Snorkel, you got the twin wedge cap, the stock, the tall square cap, the tall back pipe, and just the stock air filter. We're gonna do the twin wedge cap because it makes it look pretty damn cool, actually. It's up nice and high up in the air, too. All right, frame add-ons. You can have this thing with the crane. I don't know if this came like this with the, uh, the DLC. I have no idea. But it's pretty cool that you can have this little heavy-duty truck with a crane on it. You got the log carrier, you got the, got the maintenance body you can put on it. You got a little sideboard, a little flatbed. Yeah, pretty much all your regular ones, but it fits on this truck. Put it, put it down there if this truck you could do all this crap with, because I honestly have no idea. Loading cranes, saddle high, saddle low. Got the Tatcher sideboard. But I think for now, we're just going to do the flatbed. Makes it nice and simple. Okay, rear bumper. Looks like you can just... Uh, you could take the, the fenders off or not, I guess. Front side, got the LED fog lights, you got the dark slant visor, the dark downward visor, and then just a stock visor. I'll do this visor, sure, it looks pretty cool. Rooftop, you can have the uh, the little air deflector up there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's up there. Kind of gives it more of a, a semi-truck look, I guess. Front bumper, oh my God, he's got all these bumpers to choose from, it's so crazy. All right, <clears throat> you got the reinforced bar. The hinged, the lattice, heavy duty pipe, stock, winch pipe, defender, crossbar fog lights, stock, winch pipe, heavy duty, and just the stock. <laughs> so many fucking bumpers. Of course, I'm gonna try and choose the one that gives me the best approach angle. And I kinda like the heavy duty pipe. It's not too bad. All right, miscellaneous. Looks like we got some trunk repair supplies. It looks like that's just inside the cab, right? Yeah. Then you got the uh, the side protective blinds, which instead of the mesh, I guess, you can just have it on the sides and take the mesh off the uh, windshield. Or you can just take the mesh and stuff off altogether. You don't even have to have it on. Well, I like it on, it looks makes it look pretty cool. But I'm definitely gonna put some uh, trunk supplies in there, just in case. I might put both of them in there, yeah. Exhaust, you got the stock, the heat shielded, muzzle, the outrolled, and then just the other stock, I guess. So we're gonna do the heat shielded because that looks pretty cool. For colors, looks like you got the color that, like this, the, the Digicam. But you've got all your other basic colors too. And then you get into his uh, two tones and stuff like that. But it looks like he's keeping it the Digicam look. It's not like the, uh, the blotches on some of his other builds. Like the blue and the gray, that always looks really good. I mean, and he's got like 200 fucking colors to choose from. It's absolutely insane. We well, got some more colors. I'm gonna get some of these dark colors, these darker green camo colors, you know? Sure, let's go with that one. <laughs> Too many colors. And of course you got bobbleheads and other accessories and stickers and hood ornaments and all that. But uh, let's go see how this thing does. Like I said, I have no idea how the regular DLC truck was, but I guess I'm gonna see how this one does. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty badass, actually. Nice and high off the ground. Nice. 
That's a diesel, all right. Take a look inside. Is this what the truck looked like? I don't know. <laughs> all right. And it'll pull trailers. Maybe we'll do that later. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up doing that later. You know me. I gotta do a little tolling test with it. Diff lock's on all the time, and all-wheel drive is on all the time. That's... I'll take that. That's pretty cool. Yeah! God, actually... Not doing too bad through that. Yeah. I'd say it did that fairly well. I went down to Schwampy Town once. Let's see how it does Schwampy Town. Let's see how long it holds seventh gear. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Let's try out in low. Ooh. Low gets fairly low, actually. I mean, you could really put it down in low if you really wanted to. Make this thing just crawl. Jesus. That's no fun, though. Yeah, I'd say it's actually doing pretty decent through here. It's it's not off the ground as high as some of his other trucks are. Some of his other renditions, I should say. I guess maybe there's a limit. I honestly have no idea how any of the modding works. I just picked the ones that I think are going to be cool, that's all. Doesn't want to shift gears though. I mean, it's shifting gears. So it doesn't want to keep it. Here's the low spot. Let's put it in low once. I mean, it's it's not really bothering it, I guess. You know, with diff lock on and all wheel drive on all the time, I guess it's not really going to matter unless you get into the really deep stuff. I mean, I didn't stop. It's not like I got stuck. I was definitely not doing that too bad. Yeah, I would say it did that fairly well. Definitely not overly fast. But I guess I don't know about any of the other transmission options. Yeah. I'd say it did that fairly well. Let's go do some other shit. We'll take it up this way. Yeah, this truck is not going to do this very well. It's not all that high off the ground. I like some of his normal stuff, but we'll see if it does it anyway. Tires are good, so... Let's try that again. See if she'll get up there. Get up there. There you go. Let's see if it'll walk that front end up or not. It's trying. I guess I'm just gonna hang here. Come on. Get up there. The tires just don't have quite enough grip on the rocks. Doesn't have quite enough to walk it up there, you know what I mean? That's ah, not really what this truck is made for anyway. I do want to try out that other transmission, though. Alright, I tried out that other transmission. It's nothing special. Even though special's in the name. Let's go pull a trailer. Let's grab the low boy. Put the old ramps down. Let's go get the truck. Mr. A&K, you know what to do. Oh, don't you dare. All right, we'll pack it. And we'll put the ramps up. All right, let's go see what this thing will do. Oh, she's towing weight now. I'm curious to see how this thing does. I think the ass end is squatting pretty decent. Take her down the trail, though. Put her in high right away. 
It's not all that fast and high, so it'll be pretty manageable, I think. Let's see if she'll pull the hill. Ooh. The tires are good in the mud and off-road in general, so maybe that'll be the truck saving grace. I mean, it, there's a lot of fucking wheel spin there, but it's doing it. Oh, come on. Oh. All right, put her down and low. Didn't quite have enough power, which is really odd. Yeah, we're just chugging along. It's getting her done. This wouldn't be a bad hauler, I guess. I mean, I suppose he only has so much to work with, right? I guess I don't really know. Maybe the... Like, the DLC truck was it's garbage? I don't fucking know. Is the Navistar any good? Somebody let me know. I'm not going to use it or nothing, but... <laughs> I guess I just want to know in general. I mean, I certainly didn't feel like I needed to, to buy it or whatever, you know. We're going to bottom out. Yes, we are. I would have liked to see that ascend just a little higher. Especially for uh, the raised suspension. Maybe make the ascend just a little more stiffer. No, oh, I'd say this thing's doing pretty good, actually. I have seen trucks do a lot worse, that's for sure. Alright. Should I try and pull the hill? I don't know if it'll do it. We can try. If I can make the corner. <laughs> well, that's not a very good sign. I don't think it's going to do it. I don't think it's... I don't know if the truck is actually heavy enough, to be honest. Hmm. I don't... I don't think it's going to do it. I got myself in quite a predicament, though. Well, I managed to back it up. Let's see if I can actually back it up. Into a little better spot. Ooh, I didn't mean to swing it that much. Oh, maybe it's just the tires. The tires ain't good enough. I don't know. We'll take her down the hill, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, not too dramatic, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess the truck isn't all that bad. I would probably definitely use something else. This is more of a trailer truck than, like, a hauler. I'd actually rather use the trucks for hauling cargo instead of the trailers themselves. But every truck has its purpose, you know. Some trucks are good at hauling trailers, and some are good at hauling cargo. Some trucks are good at hauling cargo and a trailer with cargo. <laughs> All depends. Now, this seems more like a trailer truck to me. Maybe a, a recovery truck. Because it actually is pretty good off-road. Maybe with the maintenance body, it would be a pretty good recovery truck. Yeah, maybe. I don't know comes the puddle. Let's see if it stalls in high. Oh no, not at all. It does make decent power. Probably could make a little more, but it makes decent power for what it is. Yeah, that's all I need to see. Well, that was the Navistar 5000 Kronos. I guess not knowing what the actual in-game Navistar was like, I can't really say. But this one didn't perform all that bad. I can probably tell you that 
the in-game truck is nowhere near as good as this just because of the tires alone. And it probably wasn't quite this high off the ground either. <laughs> but yeah, not too bad. I liked it. It wasn't terrible. Good job with this one. I didn't mind it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit that subscribe button for me too. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.